good morning golfers of earth and all you fine second swing faithful hey i am on the road to the u.s senior open holy cow that is that is something that is something that is uh playing in a national championship is something i've wanted to do for a long time i was fortunate enough when i was an amateur to play two USAMs, two US pub links. So I've played some majors, but I've never played a professional major. So this is pretty cool stuff. Um, I've been on the road now for about an hour. I have officially stopped for caffeine. Uh, <laughs> key ingredient for me. Yeah, so I've got a 17 and a half hour road time uh, drive ahead of me here. It's a beautiful day here in the neighborhood. Uh, I am on my way to pick up GM extraordinaire Dan Marshall, who is going to drive out with me simply because he had nothing better to do. And he figured what would be more Americana than a road trip on the 4th of July. So he's going to drive with me and that'll make things definitely a little bit easier. Anyway, I am uh, very much looking forward to having a few days on site to play and practice, work on some short game stuff, get everything dialed in the way I want it, and then work with a couple of the new golf clubs on the way out there. Um, I will discuss that in a WITB, what's in the bag. Uh, probably from the confines of a hotel room so that I can actually show you what I'm working with and uh, discuss the changes that are going to be made and why. Um, there won't be big changes directly ahead of a major. Um, it's just in the between the three wood and the five iron zone that there's likely to be a couple of a uh, couple of things. Um, being swapped out. Biggest thing I got to remember in this whole thing, this is golf. That's it. This is just golf. Tee box, fairways, greens, cup. It's golf. Nothing crazy. You know, I'm out there playing with Fred Couples and Ernie Els, Bernard Longer all those guys rather than you know just my buddies but the concept's the same hitting the hole as few shots as possible so just gotta keep that in my head just gotta keep that in my head I know my brain's gonna be in overdrive heck it has been for the last three weeks since I qualified but working on it trying to keep her in check that's report number one from the road and uh, hey, everybody be safe. Have a wonderful 4th of July. Um, I will talk to y'all later. Have a good one. Good morning, Second Swingers. It is Wednesday, the 7th of July. Um, just a quick little run through of what's been going on in the last few days. Uh, it's been a busy, definitely a busy uh, couple of days here at the U.S. Senior Open. Um, arrived on site Monday morning and uh, kind of got my bearings, met with my caddy, and uh, kind of got to work. Um, hit a bunch of balls, spent some time around the short game area. Um, <laughs> look, I, I haven't played that much golf uh, over the last few years, so this is a very big week. Um, we decided we'd play nine holes on Monday. Uh, I played 18 yesterday, and we're playing nine holes again today. Um, this is a very difficult to walk golf course. It is very up and down, lots of hills. Um, good challenging golf course. Um, fits my eye pretty well, though, actually. Um, it's a beautiful golf course, absolutely wonderful. Uh, pretty well perfect, I think, for this, for this particular uh, event. Um, I'm sure some guys maybe don't love the hills, uh, and that's totally understandable because it is, it is definitely a tough walk. Um, 
but uh, I couldn't go out and play three 18 hole practice rounds. There's just simply no way. Um, my body will not, uh, my body's not happy with me as it is. So uh, there just was no way to potentially go around this golf course three times before actually playing a tournament. So uh, I think we budgeted our time well, and uh, I think we, we're, we're in pretty good shape. <clears throat> I've been hitting the ball pretty well. Uh, it's been really good on the range, and that's translated pretty well on the golf course. So I, I actually feel pretty good uh, about things. Um, it's a, it's definitely a different feeling being in a in a major, uh, standing here uh, on the range and standing next to you know Retifus and and uh, guys like that is it's definitely different. You know, I was on the putting green yesterday and. Bernard Longer and I were putting in the same hole, you know, that kind of thing. Watched um, Darren Clark uh, kind of tucked away over on the corner, uh, standing there with a cigarette in his mouth, just burying 18 footers like they were nothing. I mean, just pouring them in. Uh, pretty awesome to watch. So uh, everybody out here has been very cool. It's been great. Um, I was pretty nervous coming in, to be honest. And uh, some things have really gone kind of the, the best way possible. Uh, the first person I ran into at registration was Jim Furyk. Okay, so that's cool. And then uh, the second person I ran into was my friend Scott Perrell. And, uh, you know, to, to get a hug from one of your buddies, um, you know, that you haven't seen for quite a while, but to have him be excited that you're there, uh, it was a real good settler for me. You know, that was, that, was, that really, really went a long way to kind of, you know, just to take a little bit of the pressure off. And, uh, uh, I also had a really wonderful experience on the putting green. Um, I've known, uh, Fluff Cowan, who caddies for Jim Furyk now for, for a very long time. I haven't seen Fluff like face to face in, in, decades literally um he lived in columbus for a while columbus ohio and uh, the golf course that i grew up on granville golf course uh about 25 miles east it's a 1924 donald ross golf course so really great track and uh fluff would come out a couple times a year and and uh so i went up to fluff at a moment where he was kind of separate from everybody and i said uh I said mike you know i my name is kevin Kraft, and uh it's been a long time and he held me up right there and he said Holy cow. From Granville, right? <laughs> I mean, seriously, it is. I wish my mind was like that. I really, really wish my mind was like that. But what a wonderful thing to have, you know, somebody like that really remember you. And he kind of asked about, you know, what I've been doing and, you know, that kind of thing. And I said, yeah, you know, and. I played for a while and long while and you know, now I fit and play a little bit on the side. I said, you know, every now and then I can still get it around. And he said, well, you, know, you certainly could get it around when you were a teenager. So um, that was pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. So I am getting myself ready. Obviously, I've still got the glasses on. I have not gotten myself completely together yet uh, to go out. It is a cool and uh, last time I was out of the car, it was actually raining a little bit. Day here in Omaha, of course, first two practice rounds, like 96 and probably 92. Um, we're have a, we have a high of 79 today, so completely different kind of thing. Um, first two tournament rounds, uh, I tee off at 12.55 local time uh, on Thursday off the 10th tee. 7.15 in the morning off the first tee on Friday. So um, those days are set to be 90, 86 and 91. So um, actually really got a great uh, draw for the for the, the tee times. Um, I'll have to play late in the lesser heat and then early in the, in the higher heat. So that's cool. Um, and then over the weekend, it's supposed to cool down a little bit. So um, Kind of interesting when when I started looking at this forecast, you know, ten days ago it was supposed to be mid nineties all uh, the whole week. So, um, you know, things are cooling off a little bit. Yeah, hey, it's been a great experience. Uh, I've loved every second of it. Plan to love every second of it going forward. Um, I feel pretty good. I honestly feel pretty good. I've just got to keep my brain out of the out of the deal and 
just relax. I, I kind of got a good draw in terms of the, the the players I'm playing with too. I actually got paired with two amateurs. So from a, you know, ooh, who am I going to get paired with kind of thing, it takes a lot of the pressure off, you know, not paired with a uh, Tom Lehman or anything like that, that, you know, you'd feel maybe some extra pressure. Um, I know the way my brain works, it would be adding extra pressure. So, um, so, you know, things have really just, they've really gone quite well so far this week. It's been, it's been absolutely awesome. Uh, what a feeling to, to be able to go out and walk these fairways and, and, and know that you're playing in a, you know, national championship. It's pretty sweet. So anyway, that's my uh, Wednesday morning update. And there'll be a, a Wednesday evening what's in the bag. Um, so, hey, you guys take it easy. I'll talk to you all later.